Hi everyone, I'm Muskan. I work at Fix as Mobile Product Manager. In this video, we will be sharing with you all our new work order execution features and how you can take the advantage of these features. So let's get started. In my app, I signed in as a technician. So let me go to my more tab. You can see that I signed in as a tech user and I am currently under Toronto site. Let's go back to work orders tab. Under my work orders tab, I see two different sub tabs, which is work orders and work request. Under work orders tab, I can see the list of all my open work orders. Under my work request tab, I can see the list of work orders with requested status. On my work orders tab, I can also see four different filters, which is overdue, started, to do and done. The color for these filters are red, blue, gray and green. Overdue filter tells when a work order whose due date has been passed will be visible under overdue filter. If a work order on which a technician has started working on will be visible under started filter. If a work order on which a technician has not yet started working on will be visible under to do filter. If a work order whose task have been completed will be visible under done filter. Apart from that, if we will see the tile of this work order, we will see there is a due date, the description of the work order, the assets associated with the work order, the asset image, the time left to complete the task, the work order ID and the assignee icons. There are three different types of assignee icons. If a work order is assigned to an individual, then its initial will be visible. If a work order is assigned to a group, then a group icon will be visible. If a work order is assigned to a group plus an individual, then there will be a group icon with one filled Apart from that, we also have a search functionality. Now let's search a work order. Now I'm searching a work order whose ID is 17. After searching a work order, the app will filter and give me that work order. So let's go inside that work order. As soon as I'll click on the work order, the app will navigate me inside that work order where I will see four different tabs details task parts and file under details I can see the details of my work order the status the due date time left description priority maintenance type and the assignee of this work order apart from this I can also add the work order notes and I can also see the list of assets and the task associated with it under my task tab, I can see the list of assets plus the task associated with it. Let's click on the drop down and let's select another asset. Under this asset, I can see an inspection task. So let's log work on this inspection task. Let's make it pass. Let's add the time as two hours task notes and submit. We can also see view asset details on this. When we click on view asset details, we will navigate inside that asset. Let's go on work orders tab. Under work orders tab, I can see the list of open work orders. And also there is a toggle which says show closed work orders toggle. Let me click on that toggle. I can also see now the list of my closed work orders. Let me click on this filter. So now after clicking on closed button, I can filter my closed work orders. So let's go back to my task tab. Apart from my task and details tab, we also have paths and files. Let's click on paths filter on my paths tab. I can see the list of assets, but there is no part inside it. So let's add a new part. 
let's click on this plus icon let's select this part let's add an asset quantity to quantity to it and save it let's go to the files if in case a technician wants to add a manual to it so he can do it using files option let's click on plus icon he can either upload an image through its gallery or the user can upload or click a picture using camera feature so i have done all my information now let's go back over here i can see my open work order now let's filter this work order again let's change its status from open to completed after completing it let's go back and we can see now that recently closed work order is visible under closed section and this will be visible only for 24 hours as i'm sure you have seen from this demo we have added a lot of exciting new features to the mobile app including the ability to view work order histories while you are online watch our next mobile demo to learn about creating work orders and viewing work requests.